Okay, so uh, today's message um, is actually starting with an essential oil, uh, petit grain, and this is about stimulating uh, feelings of bringing in the heart. So, looking from your reading, I feel like there may be some anxiety going on, or overthinking, or busy energy, or it's it's almost like a almost like you need to be a bit more grounded and uh, slow down um, we have the dragonfly here which when in balance is um, you know they see clearly they're magical they're joyful um, they operate clearly from their third eye um, they're in tune and their energies in flow it's uh, it's it's actually very quite it's quite stable energy the dragonfly but because this is in the stress um, so the layout the spread is like this is your stress or your focus or your issues and then we're coming into some sort of remedy here or um, thoughts for or food for thought so because the dragonfly is in the stress position it's actually kind of trying to remind you that are things really as cool as they seem. And I say that because if you're not operating from the heart space, you might be operating from an, like an ego space. And I don't say that to say that you're big noting yourself. It's more about, is there a facade or a mask or what's, what are you not tr truly revealing? Or what are, you, what's, what are you stressing about that you can't just connect? What, what's, what's, yeah, what's buzzing around you that's, you know, trying to really tap into you and like nudge you to ask you to look at it from a different perspective. We also have this card here about support, which is really about your support network. But because it's in, I guess, a reverse position, um, it's talking about loneliness and a pervasive all-consuming energy. So that that leads me to think that there may even be, we've got a past experience here, so this is coming up to say that maybe there's been a support system um, that's not in place for you, or you feel it's not in place for you right now, um, that maybe there is a, there used to be a support network of friends that you, you enjoyed, because we've got some social stuff coming through. so. Let's just take the cards one at a time. So I feel like somehow you've disconnected. You've disconnected from your heart, which is making you pretty um, frantic. And now we've got some anxiety going on because the support system that you, you perhaps yearn for or reminded by, you feel absent of, like it's not there right now for you. Um, Maybe you're, uh, you know, we've got family duties here. Maybe there's, you know, some sort of obligations that you have been tending to. Um, maybe you're a stay-at-home uh, mom or a new mom and you're starting to um, start to ask those questions about some sort of support. Like, you may have your family support, but maybe you need an outside, and like an outlet, like a social outlet, you know, your girlfriends or boyfriends. Um, and then we also have this card here as well, cleaning house, which <laughs> could be literal, maybe you do feel like you're stuck at home cleaning the house, but it's also asking you to clear out the clutter of what's not serving you anymore, like emotionally, physically, literally, you know, spiritually, like where are you feeling overwhelmed? What, what, what's this anxiety, this busyness? Are you busy just cleaning and doing all the obligations that you need to do, all the family duties, um, that you just, you feel disconnected? And it's, it, I feel like it's crept up on you. I feel like potentially you didn't see this coming, but now you're like, how did I end up here? Like this, this isn't who I used to be. Or maybe there's a situation where you felt you've burnt some bridges, um, maybe there is a friendship that you've kind of let go by potentially no fault. I feel like, you know how you have some friendships that you just, they somehow disappear. Life gets busy and 
suddenly you're you don't really understand what happened or you could be in someone's life on a daily basis and then suddenly a few weeks go by and then before you know you've lost contact so these cards are just trying to ask you to drill down into what is it what what is causing this anxiety and loneliness and what is it that you can't get past what or what is it that um, is in the past that you still yearn for why why is this oil asking you to bring in the heart and feelings what have you decided to um, numb or what do you need to numb you know we've got the anesthetic effect so making me feel that because we have the forgiveness card here as well so whether you feel you need to forgive yourself or forgive someone else because but in the remedy um, section here we've got a brand new beginning so this is in relationships it's um, yeah something new and brilliant is coming in so it is the start of something so once you clear up this energy here or get rid of what's not serving you find out what this past experience is remind yourself of what that support network was ease this loneliness um, start to see things more clearly from your third eye bring in your heart feelings get into alignment um, how can you find balance here because there is a brand new beginning waiting it's it's and it's it's going to be the, the right remedy for you it's like a social goal i feel like it is asking you to find out what that past experience is or get in contact with someone that that you feel you've let go and that you wish you hadn't and um you know our ego can also get in the way of that where it's like oh time's passed like it's just too hard to call them or too hard to get in contact with and but look at this message life is short leave no lovely word unsaid and so I know I've had this experience myself where you know time goes past and maybe someone just rubbed you the wrong way a friend and you just thought you'd need some time out and then that time out just became a huge gap and then suddenly the abyss seemed too um, too wide and then of course like the um, proverbial tower moment um, I received news that they were very very ill and potentially um, terminal and of course it just took one phone call yes it took the tower moment but it took one phone call and within 30 seconds we were laughing like we used to and we just were so angry with ourselves that we just allowed that time to pass um, so if there is something like that in your life right now um, yeah it, it's time to maybe have a look at it you know free will your choice but it's almost like clean up that situation if you can if not just clear out the clutter in your life where's all this busyness coming from where can you reduce it what small step can you take to make a big impact in create a more of a social network for yourself outside of your family role um, and forgive yourself for even allowing that situation to arrive where you felt like how did I stop take care of, taking care of myself where did I let myself down forgive yourself move on um, if you have been too numb in the situation then you know this is about stimulating and bringing in those heart feelings again um, or if this feels too charged for you and you you're you know you're in that oh how do I call them or how do I get in contact or how do I put my foot foot forward then it's almost like have the anesthetic effect you know just numb it down enough just to take that first step make that first call just you know deep breaths because the final message here is laugh more often and I have a sense that this relationship was one of those friendships where you would like have belly laughter you know complete belly laughter um, and so that is almost the best medicine um, for me like I, I well for me for sure like even when 
you know the shits of the fan I love a healthy dose of sarcasm and dark humor to get through <laughs> just get through the shit storm so um yeah look that's all the messages I have for you thank you